Here is a great opportunity for authors who had previously used a method called content categories to segment audiences. Now easily migrate those existing projects to the more powerful concept of dynamic content filtering. The end user chooses what they want to see rather than having to wade through everything just to get to the good stuff. For the author, instead of producing multiple sets of output, there is now a much more efficient way of delivery, which avoids duplication of content on the web server. For example, under the previous method, I may have set up two content categories, one for sales department and one for the software development staff. I would already have conditional build tags assigned for each group. I may also want to have a separate table of contents and index for each category. The good news is that you can keep all of that same preparation as you migrate to the more advanced features of dynamic content filtering. View by company role, office location, market types, products, or virtually any category the author would like to create. Selecting the country location allows us to see only content that pertains to U.S., U.K., or Canada. Assign a complex build expression with more user-friendly names. Call context-sensitive help with a URL that shows filtered content. More reasons to start using the powerful new features of the 2015 release of Adobe RoboHelp.